Hello everyone, and welcome to the Order of the Raven by Speed Guide to Hatching Tide 2016, a Final Fantasy XIV seasonal event. You must be at least level 15 and able to travel to Gridania to complete this quest chain, but you can farm tokens if you're not at the appropriate level. Expect to spend about 20 minutes to rush the quest, 30 to view all the cutscenes, and longer to farm. There are five quests in total. The first is the main story, then each of the three repeatable quests must be done at least once to unlock the final quest to get the parting. You will be pleased to know the tokens earned from the repeatable quest will not be used up in the quest chain. The fate is entirely optional and can be done at any level, no sinking required. It's an alternate or additional method to farm event tokens. Ten tokens are required to buy the event specific items, plus another twenty if you want the hat and minion, which are currently available via other non-event means. Chili Dreams of Egg Hunts. Go to Mikado's Amphitheater in Old Gordania. Speak to Jilly Aliapo at 10x9y to pick up the quest. Then speak to Nanota nearby at 10x9y to turn it in. Repeatable quests, Brigand Scramble. This quest, along with the other two repeatables, must be completed at least once to unlock the final quest. At Mikado's Amphitheater in Olgordania, speak to Mote at 10x9y to pick up the quest. Please note it's very important to pay attention during the cutscenes with the beginner, intermediate, and advanced examiners. You'll need to keep track of how many eggs of each color you see, and it changes every time, so I cannot provide the correct answers for you. Each part always has a certain number of eggs that appear, and every color will appear at least once. If you fail, you will only need to redo the part you failed. Speak to the beginner examiner at 10x8y, just outside of the amphitheater. There will be a total of five eggs of blue and white. The sprickins move slowly and are easy to count. Next, speak to the intermediate examiner at 9x8y west of the amphitheater. There will be six eggs total of blue, white, and yellow. The sprickins move slightly faster and are still relatively easy to count, but you may wish to use pencil and paper, a voice recorder, or slash echo to type letters or numbers corresponding to each color. Now speak to the advanced examiner at 10x8y near the mail mobile. There are eight eggs in total of blue, white, yellow, and black. The screens are closer together, the sprickins move very quickly, and there will be multiple in view at the same time. People have used varying methods to keep track, including recording it and playing back slowly, using pencil and paper, a voice recorder, or a slash echo to type letters or numbers corresponding to each color. After completing all three, return to Mote at 10x9y in the amphitheater to turn in the quest. Repeatable quest, Hard-Boiled Hocus. This quest, along with the other two repeatables, must be completed at least once to unlock the final quest. At Mikado's Amphitheater in Old Gridania, speak to the Cultured Collector at 10x9y to pick up the quest. Your goal is to use a Shimmering Scale Powder on the Large Benediction Egg that rolls faster than a sprint on a set counter or anti-clockwise path around Old Gridania. It stops at random, of varying duration, and the only time you can use the powder on it. The powder has a 10 second cast time, so you must catch the egg very shortly after it stops. You can either wait for it one spot and then sprint to it when it appears, or you may run clockwise along its path until you find it, then turn and sprint ahead of it so you can be closer to it when it comes to a brief rest. Once you've used the powder on the egg and obtained the egg fragment, return to the Cultured Collector at 10x9y to turn in the quest. Repeatable Quest Pass the Poacher This quest, along with the other two repeatables, must be completed at least once to unlock the final quest. At Mikado's Amphitheater in Old Gradania, speak to the Kakahoop Collector at 10x9y to pick up the quest. Once you pick up the egg in the basket beside her, the location of the collector and training you need to take it to will appear on your map. 
You will have four minutes to deliver it, and you must choose a path that avoids coddled spriggans or they'll steal your egg. The fate spriggan and the one at the theater gate will not take it. There are four potential locations for the collector in training. Your safe path will vary depending on where he is. While you're carrying the egg, you will be unable to perform any other action, including talking to NPCs, using abilities, or sprinting. Also, if you change zones, you will lose the egg. If you lose the egg for any reason, you may pick up a new one from the basket. Here are the safe routes for the various collector and training positions. 8x10y at Nauplicus Altar at the Conjurer's Guild. 4x7y past the 8th right at the Botanist Guild. 15x6y at the Fairy near the Lancer's Guild. And 12x8y at the Leather Workers Guild. After giving him your egg, you're free to take any route back to the Cockahoop Collector at the Amphitheater to turn in the quest. Exaltation of a Lark. This quest appears after you've completed the others. At Nikita's Amphitheater in Old you speak to Nanota at 10x9y to pick up the quest. Next, speak to Jilly Aliapo at 10x9y. Now speak to the following in any order. In Old Gridania, Stout Elm at 8x8y, west of Mikado's Amphitheater. In New Gridania, Bernadette at 12x12y, just south of the main Aetherite Crystal. And also in New Gridania, Bertinent at 14x14y, near the Blue Badger Gate. Return to Jilly Aliapo at Mikado's Amphitheater. Head to Bent Branch Meadow in Central Shroud. Speak to Keitha at 20x22y at the Moogle's Gift Chocobo Stables to turn in the quest. Bye.